This is News 8 Sports. Michigan State lost a true Spartan today. For people outside of the program, George Perlis leaves behind a complicated legacy. He led the program to some of its highest moments, like a Big Ten championship in 1987, capped off by the Rose Bowl win in 1988. He sent a steady stream of players to the National Football League, including Ty Halleck, who said Perlis was one of his biggest and most important mentors. Uh, for me as a young person, you know, I went there as a freshman, you know, from a small town, end up playing right away. My next year, I was a little bit lost, got a job during the summer, really wasn't kind of ready to get back into football, uh, some personal things, and didn't think I wanted to play anymore. And he helped walk myself and my family through a few days of what I would consider younger age turmoil. Mitch Lyons also stayed close to home to play for Perlis, and his relationship runs just as deep because he served on the Michigan State Board of Trustees with Perlis after his NFL career ended and he established himself in the business world. Lyons said the biggest thing Perlis taught him was the value of hard work. He had to earn his stripes at Michigan State. It took me until my third or fourth game of my junior year to start, and I remember him coming at, up at the end of the, towards the end of the season uh, before uh, practice started, and I was stretching, and he says, uh, kind of gives me a smirk and says, uh, How, how'd you get so good? And I said, <laughs> Coach, you finally gave me a chance, right? <laughs> but uh, he was big on b being ready when you got that chance, so it's true in a lot of things in life. Now, Perla's legacy was not perfect. There was controversy as well. His firing as head coach stemmed from an academic okay. scandal that rocked the program, and he was on that board of trustees during the Larry Nasser scandal. Ty Halleck says one thing nobody can question was the love uh, that Perlis had for Michigan State. He served that university in one capacity or another for decades. I, I really truly believe down in my, in my heart, George Perlis, not unlike my dad, Tom Halleck, was a man who loved his family, had faith, and did everything he felt was right at the time. Not to say he was perfect, but I'm not either. I know you wouldn't mm -hmm. consider yourself that way. Uh, to me, in this time, I, in reflection, I just think that George Perlis was a, was a treasure for Michigan State. He loved Michigan State. He wanted to do everything he could to help out the wonderful university that gave him many opportunities. Perlis is coaching records 68, 67, and four. Under his guidance, Michigan State won two Big Ten championships. He was 85 years old and died of complications from Parkinson's.